Today I want to talk about guns. I am not going to advocate for or against gun control, and I think the right solution likely varies from country to country. What I will say is that the solution to guns is not complete bans or complete freedom to own, it generally lies somewhere in between. I also think that many issues associated with guns do exist independently of guns and are in a sense their own issues, which must be addressed as such. The presence of guns simply amplifies these issues and makes their existence more obvious. Today I am going to argue against a very silly defense of gun ownership. Do note that you can be pro-gun and agree with basically everything I say here. If you are pro-gun, you should be interested in weeding out weak arguments for your position, as such arguments will only let you down and make your side look weaker than it really is. Anyway, let's get to the actual argument. Gun defenders sometimes like to point out the fact that cars are more dangerous than guns and that road deaths are higher than firearm deaths. Depending on the data you look at, this is more or less true, but let's just pretend that it is true. The obvious implication of the argument is that it is silly to prioritise doing something about guns and ignoring cars. Firstly, I will say it is obviously a very good idea to put attention into lowering the road toll, which is a serious issue. Secondly, however, I want to explain why I dislike comparing gun-related deaths and vehicle-related deaths. I think this comparison is very messy because of the massive difference in the positive utility most individuals derive from owning either of these items. We need to weigh the positives and negatives to decide the value something has in our society. This is crucial. In terms of positive utility in civilian hands in modern times, I think vehicles massively outweigh guns in terms of the positive utility they serve, making any serious comparison very difficult. This is not to say I think current ideas of vehicle ownership are great because in the future they should be changed radically. But civilian owned cars are very important to people's modern lives and modern society, in a way most civilian owned guns simply are not, which dooms analogies like this one as they are essentially comparing apples to oranges. Something which does harm but is also crucial to modern life and serves a great positive utility versus something which is not crucial and serves significantly less positive utility in modern society and civilian hands. This is a bad comparison. Because guns serve significantly less positive utility in proportion to negative utility than, than cars, it is infinitely more easy to argue for restrictions and bans on guns. This is a bad comparison and a bad argument in defense of guns, as it is based on a foolish comparison between two very different things, which offer very different positive utilities. There are better arguments to be made than low quality apples to oranges comparisons between things essential to modern society and things that are simply not in any comparable way.